Okay, I tried to record this and it was too quiet, so I am trying to be quiet because I'm in the library, but I'm going to try to do this again. sitting around my house feeling sick and hurt ever since I received your texts and turned my phone on this morning. I am sorry for the pain that you're going through and it makes me deeply sad that it's because of our relationship. I never intended for things to end up like this. My feelings for you were real and that's why things got so serious so fast. Now you are telling me that you feel like I'm being icy and cruel. I don't think I'm being that way. I don't know why you think I am. I broke things off the best way I could given this situation, which was that we got in the fight about his friends. friends. You refused to listen to much of what I had to say to you. He was like, we're I was like, are we breaking up? Yes. Okay, true. I did hang up. I was like, okay, bye. But I told you that I'd be for you, there for you if you wanted to talk. You said you never wanted to talk to me as an ex or as a friend, so I left it that way. We are in very different places now regarding our relationship. I don't know why he thought that, because I wasn't trying to get back with him. I understood your pain and confusion around the fact that my feelings changed so quickly. Yeah, but you have to understand that change is the very reason I know things have to end. I don't understand it either. <laughs> I need to process it and figure it out myself. But what became clear to me is that I couldn't be in a healthy relationship that I thought I could. I'm sorry, I don't have more clarity for you than that. But I hope you understand that my ending things was the only responsible move I could make. Okay. I also need you to know that the texts to me about our breakup have to stop. I texted him like a week after we broke up and I was just like, like, how could you? I wasn't trying to get back to the room, but asking for clarity, being like, what the hell happened? How did you go, like, how, how did you 180 from let's go to Thailand to like peace? I know you feel that by ending our relationship, I am abandoning you, but I'm not abandoning you as a friend or a person that I care about. So if there are thoughts and feelings you need to communicate to you, to me, I am willing to hear them. However, I need you to express them to me in a respectful way, and the texts you've been sending are hurtful to me. Furthermore, texting just doesn't work for me as a respectful and effective means of communication about serious matters. If you need to communicate with me, take your thoughts and feelings and write them in an email. Oh, what a friend. Really, can I? I understand that it's inconvenient for you to email because you have to use Lauren and Israel's computer. Yep, didn't have money for a computer, did I? But texts just don't work. If I get any more barrage of texts, I'll be forced to block your texts and I don't want to have to do that. Please just respect this important request and use email. So heartfelt. Tara, I'm sorry that things didn't work out. I never meant for any of this to go in this direction it did. I know there's a lot going on in your life right now and that it's hard. Your family has treated you very unkindly and unfairly and your financial situation has been really challenging. You knew I was broke. There it is. <laughs> I'm so sorry that the pain of our breakup came during the same time. I made an honest decision in breaking up with you, though, and believe me when I say it's the only decision I could make given the circumstance. Circumstance being what? <sighs> Them. <laughs> Please accept that I'm not trying to be cruel or icy, and I'm not abandoning you as a friend. I will always do my best to treat you with kindness, truly, and with love. Abraham. This was three days before the miscarriage. 
Okay. You can tell it's mixed. He's like, I, my feelings were all true. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's just the only thing I could do given the circumstance. They were the circumstance. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You don't ever see him, oh, you have an addiction or, you know, and he does point out that he knows that I have no money. Yeah, obviously. 